we're gonna do this super quick all right so this is the review for the month of july which reminds this is next month there's a lot of highs and lows but I also realized there was a lot where I usually used to mix them. I used to mix them a lot all the time. So I apologize for the last video because holy crap, I was like, I ended on lows. That's usually not something you're supposed to do. You don't do that. So I apologize for that because that really kind of put a damper on things. So I, ooh. Um, thank you guys so much for watching that. You guys really must love me by watching through that in its entirety. So I really appreciate you guys for that but I do have several highs and lows that I'm going to sprinkle in throughout the video. So I don't just start with all of the wonderful things in the beginning of the video and then finish with all of the things that are kind of like, eh, not so great. So um, let's let's start with that. Um, let's start with the first high. I was able to meet up with a lot of my friends that I used to work with at the nonprofit that I used to work at, which was really nice. That was a wonderful positive plus because, you know, we're cheering on one of my friends, one of my coworkers, got accepted to NYU. So kudos to you. She's going into school for the fall and going for graduate school in marketing in New York. So she moved up there. I hope everything's going well. I need to check in with her to see how she's doing. And she's just going for it. And I'm so excited for her. And I am excited because I could finally have a reason to kind of go back up and visit and check it out, you know, because I like holidays in New York is just totally different and it's gonna be coming around that time very soon. But of course that's not the only reason why <laughs> I wanna check in on her. But there's there's a lot of cool things with that. It's a new chapter, it's fun, it's exciting, and it's New York, you know? So I wish her all the best with all the many blessings. And you know, I, I'm just excited for new chapters for everyone. Everyone's kind of going into a new chapter. So I'm really thrilled with that. I will start with a low now. So how about that? We'll, we will counteract every high with a low, but then we'll end it up with lessons to end with that high note. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's what we're gonna do. I started off with that back in January. And I don't know where I went when it came to the months as it went along where I changed it up in that type of way. Maybe I just kind of went in with these videos and I was like, you know, I just want to get it done. Maybe that's what happened. Uh, I don't know. It was day when I, I did this. So <laughs> the first low, I think the first real low was just kind of like feeling uncertain, but I think that just is going to come with the ebbs and flows of life, you know? So considering that I only had like two real lows is not really bad at all, to be honest with you. So I can't complain. God has been great to me. And so <laughs> with that, to feel uncertain, that's okay. I feel like that's just a normal thing in this time. There's a lot of things going up in the sky. I'm not going to get too far into detail with that. But this is really a um, pivotal time when it comes to figuring out what it is that you're going to do, what you're meant to do, that purpose, and pursuing it. Or you're just going to continue going down the path that you're going and not really feeling fulfilled in that. So it's been a really interesting time. So I feel like that's what the main month of July was. It was really busy. I got asked to do a play and I did not go. Oh my gosh. So I need to reach out to them because I was practically out of town every single week of July. It was just busy. It was like show, show, out, family, show, show. Like I was just out. Holy smokes. I really, I feel really bad about that. I'm gonna definitely get that sorted out after this video. Shoot, I guess that's a low, shoot. Um, a high on that note was all of the traveling, getting to be able to go out. I was able to see my family. Uh, my Uncle Earl celebrated his 75th birthday. I was so happy to go down and just see my family in Georgia. I always love going to see them and I was able to celebrate and be with them. It had been a good couple of years since I had seen them and it was really heartwarming to do that. And then even better, I was able to go to a family reunion with them the next day and go to Villa Rica, Georgia, which is out in the sticks, honey. But I was able to actually see where my grandfather was buried and he passed away when I was two years old. So that was like a good 20 plus years before I was able to go back out to where he was buried. So that was a really cool moment in time to just kind of take that in and really see it for myself. And, um, 
I look forward to visiting my family in Georgia a lot more often. I'm really excited about that. Speaking about family in Georgia, I was going to be meeting them again because I was going to be going to a show called Urban Nerd Con, but that got postponed to May of next year. So that was kind of a low because I was looking forward to going down to see them again. And then poof, it was just like Thanos snapped his fingers and it was gone which was crazy to me, honestly. However, a high to kind of counteract that too was I was able to kind of work more on creative projects. I've had a lot more positive experiences when it comes to just creating and just kind of filling out various things. I've had various opportunities to work little side gigs and stuff that's been really fun. I was able to work like a retreat was absolutely amazing. It was really cool. It definitely allowed me to see what is possible and what you can really do with just a little bit of determination and faith. Faith goes a long way with that too. So that's another high. Another high I can definitely say with that is being able to record a show. Like I was able to record a podcast that is getting in the works and it's getting out there and we'll be working on editing more of that. But actually pulling out my lights, pulling out my, my mic and stuff like that. And it actually like I, I recorded a show, I guess. But I don't know if you would call that a producer. I don't want to call myself a producer because I feel like I'm just an amateur in all of these things that I love so much right now. But I can say my inner child was buzzing when I did that. It felt absolutely amazing to do that. And I'm excited that more of those opportunities are coming. So I was able to meet a lot of great people who are you know, in this field and I learned from the best, so I'm excited. So you've probably seen a couple of the reels too for July, which was going on with that, which I was really proud of, which was really cool. And um, yeah, the postponed show was really big to me because I was really looking forward to see people and it just kind of knocked the wind out of me. Not gonna lie, I took my big girl pants, I put them aside and I did a big girl cry, okay? <laughs> Cause I was just hurt, you know? I was like, dang, I really was looking forward to this, but I put them back on and I was like, you know what? We're gonna make something out of this. And I have a lot of great plans for the month coming up, which I'll be happy to get into with you guys as well. So I'm excited with that, but I'll tell you that next month. Duh, you know what that, you know what I meant with that. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just thrilled for how it's going and how this coming month is going to be because you know, next month's gonna be my birthday month. So I'm excited. And I'm just planning on looking forward to a lot of great things happening, which I know it is, this happening, it's going to happen. So a lot of great cons when it came to, what did I do? <laughs> I went to DreamCon, oh my God. That was the biggest show I've ever been to. I was so nervous, I was so scared. However, it was absolutely amazing. Like they said last year there was like, what, 6,000 people there? Over 20,000 people were there. Girl, oh my gosh, I was terrified. So all before the show, we were traveling, we were going, and I was nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, there's gonna be so many people there. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out. And I just had an amazing time. There was double dutch on the main floor. Where'd they do that at? Like that was, was I don't know, like DreamCon, it had so many amazing panels, so many just positive vibes, energy, and just, networking opportunity it was just a really great show all around and you know I mean, people that i've been seeing that was like you know on tiktok or something but like you know there's critiques sure with any show like you can always find a way to get better but at the same right like there was one i saw that was talking about trying to like cancel drink i was like that's crazy like just if you really are about something find a way on how you can propose your skills to make it better you know and that's what I really want to do it's like sure I do interviews and everything on shows on uh besides my channel that I interlink with you guys with agents of geekdom but I like the opportunity of just being able to step out there on faith and be like you know what I've actually done this a couple of times I could be a moderator for you guys I would love to moderate one of these panels that you were presenting because I just enjoyed the value of the information that you were giving and I just want to be able to provide my services and help and it's like, I don't even, like, you don't even have to compensate me. You don't. For this, I just want the experience because I want to build that rapport because I am an amateur. I know where I am. I know where my skills lie. I know that I'm still able to be able to work a room, but at the same time, I'm willing to give that in exchange for the experience and benefits that I get out of networking and working with them in general. So that was really cool. 
in the way when it came to a high because that show was really great and it just allowed you to see a lot of opportunity and just how you are your best advocate you really are your best advocate you have to put yourself out there sometimes if it scares you you gotta go for it like if your dreams don't scare you they're not big enough they're just not and and sometimes you just have to take time to evaluate that you have to go back to the drawing board create a plan and just attack it and sometimes things go wrong like that happens but make sure you have something to set up for the thing after that and i'm saying this with my own um personal interest in mind that sometimes i go back to the drawing board and that's okay to do because as long as you don't ever give up just keep going at it you know just have something that keeps you keeps you accountable that if that's what you want to do if that's something you're passionate about then do it don't let anything stop you don't let anyone stop you just do it but if something goes wrong if something happens if there's a hiccup in your plan that's okay we make plans all the time and guess what sometimes they just don't go to plan but that shouldn't stop you from just pursuing whatever it is that you want to do so I guess that's also kind of like a lesson it's a mix with a high but I really enjoyed um, last month because I also got to celebrate my dad's birthday so happy birthday to you dad um, I was able to go to various shows and I've just been really able to enjoy my summer like I DreamCon really was a, a breath of fresh air for me especially in the mental space because I don't know I've really just been working on me these past three months and I can say that I just have not felt like myself and after this show I, I felt a lot more like me again and um, I'm just ready to keep working on me and refining and getting better and this with this next month coming up I'm really excited about what's to come because I can finally get back into a lot of things because I, I was really battling a lot and it was just kind of it was kind of tough so for anybody that does that you know I want you guys to know that you're not alone there are communities and resources out there for you if you are struggling in certain ways or, or you just feel like you need someone to talk to you know let me know down in the comments I'm more than happy to just give you words of encouragement but of course if you need more than that please get professional help you know there there's people here for you there's resources out there to help you and um, I can just say happily that you know it's it's it can be done don't give up you are so worth everything that you think about all of the dreams that you have in your mind it's worth it just don't give up on it but just continue to work at it and find ways to go about it sometimes you're just gonna have a plan that wasn't exactly the way or it doesn't get executed the way you exactly planned it to be and that's okay as long as you're going towards the direction that you want to go that's all right slow motion is better than no motion at all just keep going keep moving forward <laughs> that's one of my favorite movies meet the robinsons anytime that i feel like i just want to have a good cry <laughs> and i just a just a nice wholesome hug from my inner child i play that movie because that moment where little robinson is um looking at that room in that sky terrace so spoiler to anybody who hasn't seen this movie that came out in when did it come out states of america meet the robinsons was released on march 30th 2007 okay so spoiler if you did not see this movie that came out in 2007 <laughs> that part where he goes and looks at all the wonderful inventions that he made up in that beautiful like glass terrace and everything and he's just looking at him and he's like oh my gosh this looks so amazing like younger like past him and then he's like but you know what all started and it starts with that one invention that he created and he was like it was all because of that because you didn't give up and I'm just like like you know it gets me every time because then when he goes back to do it and he actually succeeds at it and that song by rob thomas it's like oh, it's like every time it's like it just it's like waterworks it's like you see him he smiles he sees everything fall into place right before his very eyes and then rob thomas just sings let it go and i'm just like oh like you know <laughs> i just the tears just go but it it holds a beautiful message that you know living in the present is so much more magical than we think it is. The future you will thank you by that bite of time that you took.
to be better in those moments. And um, that's a big lesson to me. Anytime I look at uh, Meet the Robinsons, I love that because I can just remember years ago when I was younger, how I would just dance in the living room and I would listen to the credits and the credit song, Emotional Commotion Waltz would play and I'd have a blanket over my shoulders and I would spin and I would twirl. But it was talking about how the state of commotion brings up all this emotion in our lives. But if we are present, that's how we're able to really hone in on the things that really matter in life. And the more I think about it, the crazier it gets with epiphanies because it was just like, wow, this animation that was for kids really is teaching me so much that I still figure out to this day. And it just, I don't know, I just get this huge warm hug of gratitude, of appreciation. Why am I getting emotional? <laughs> it is one of my favorite movies and I did say I watch this movie when I feel like I need to cry. So I guess that's it. But you just have to keep moving forward. That's the one thing about life, despite all the things that happen, despite all the things that go, all the people that we lose along the way, they would want you to keep going, okay? <laughs> because it's worth it in the end and, and you'll be so happy you did because you're worth fighting for, your dreams are worth fighting for you. And even when sometimes when you feel like you wanna give up, those dreams come back and they cheer you on. It's a beautiful thing, it's an amazing thing, and um, uh, wow, what an amazing thing, what an amazing month. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this because I am not trying to cry on you guys. I am not trying to get sappy with you. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed this video. I appreciate you for being here. Let me know, of course, I'm gonna have all the songs that I was inspired by this month. I'm kind of on the fence with one song because it kind of was kind of um, honing in the Texas vibes for me, but um, I'll have that down in the description below. I hope you guys have a wonderful month. I'll also let you guys know about exercise that I did. I'm actually gonna put that in the description below as well. And we can talk about that probably in the lives and everything next month. And that was just kind of more of an accountability sense of how or where you stand when it comes to terms of clarity, when it comes to self-discipline, when it comes to your overall health and body, and also like the self-conscious and your, your mindset in that way. So it was a really great exercise. So I'll put that down in the description. So you'll hear from me with that. But I hope you guys have a wonderful month. I will see you next month. And always remember, never give up in the fates against you eventually will. Be blessed. Have a great month. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. It's even worse. Ugh.